about 24, 24, yep. Um, I was doing some acting workshops and a few people had said to me, oh, yeah, you've got a really nice sounding voice, you should do voiceovers. And admittedly, I was like, voiceovers, what, you know, what's that about? How does that all work? Um, and the rest is history. I just sort of started doing some research and bang. Getting started. That's a really tough one, um, yeah. And also probably juggling my masters of psychology and um, and keeping up my voice work as well. So I'd have to say really creatively challenging jobs, um, but also working closely with great directors, the clients, um, and other voiceover artists. So it becomes this kind of collaborative work um, that will bring a brand to life. You know, we can really make a brand with, you know, an awesome voiceover and, and just that journey together um, is probably what I would say is the most yeah, enjoyable part of it. I did have to do a voiceover once for a car oil commercial um, and I kind of had to make love to the gear stick with my voice. Um, at one point, I recall a quote, something like, all I want to do is get my hands on your stick. And, you know, it was kind of interesting in the studio, but, I mean, that's about it, really. I think I'm pretty versatile. Um, got quite a good range, so I've got quite a deep voice, but, but I can go sort of, you know, a higher, chirpy and, and fun as well. Um, and... Yeah, I'm fun to work with. <laughs> One of my first jobs when I consider myself to be a, a serious voiceover artist, um, and it was a Cadbury Eight Moments commercial, and it was a sexy chocolate number, and it had a kind of a Tim Burton-esque feel to it. So it was mystical and mysterious, and, and it was beautiful. Um, did that one with Colin and Gusto, and I remember that fondly. Sometimes the brain sends messages to the mouth and the mouth doesn't listen. <laughs> and yes, so sometimes, you know, unusual things come out or perhaps my brain thinks that the script could be rewritten. <laughs> so, so no offence to anybody, but sometimes that kind of happens as well. The, the mouth just goes, you know, off on tangents. But yeah, not tongue-tied so far. Kathy was my first agent. We sort of got together when she was just starting up out on her own and she's just totally believed in me um, the whole time and, uh, you know, it's really intimate um, boutique. You guys are both awesome and fun. But, uh, yeah, I'd have to say that Kathy's right from the get-go, took me under her wing and, you know, set me free. Has really nurtured me along the way and supported me um, on the journey. How did you... Well, I haven't actually ever been with another agency. <laughs> I just kind of laugh and sing and speak words on road signs as I'm driving, you know, on the way. So nothing formal. Warm. <laughs>